Thank you for watching World News Report. This is Sunday, August 14, 2016. From the Irish Daily Mirror. A 34-year-old woman has died after a man launched a terrifying attack on a train in Switzerland. The attacker was on fire as he lunged towards six passengers, including a six-year-old child, with a knife during the horrifying incident yesterday. St. Gallen police confirmed today that a 34-year-old woman and the 27-year-old attacker have died from injuries. Among those hurt was a 17-year-old boy, a 50-year-old man, three women aged 17, 34 and 43, and a 6-year-old child. The 6- and 17-year-olds reportedly remain in a serious condition in hospital after being attacked by the man who police revealed is a Swiss citizen with a typical Swiss name. Police are still searching for a motive but said there's no indication the suspect had ties to extremist groups, adding, the motive remains unclear. There is currently none that can be found. The attack took place on Saturday at around 2.20 p.m., just as the train approached Sales Station, between Bucks and Senwald on the Sudostbin line in the canton of St. Gallen in northeastern Switzerland. The town is less than a kilometer from the border with Liechtenstein. At the time of the attack, the train was occupied by several dozen passengers. The attacker was arrested before being taken to hospital for treatment, where he later died. The carriage was reportedly left covered in blood following the attack, as the badly injured were treated at the scene police, who said the man was armed with at least one knife, firefighters, and three rescue helicopters and care teams are at the scene. So far there is no further information on the attacker's background or motive available. German reports have claimed that Zurich police called the attack a crime of passion. Sales station is closed while police carry out further investigations. The attack comes after Europe was rocked by a series of terrorist incidents over the past 12 months. France, Germany and Belgium have all been targeted, and other European nations have been bracing for assaults on their soil. Swiss police and special forces have sealed off the train and the interior minister is believed to be holding a special meeting on how to deal with the incident.